Yes, hello champions. This is Elias Mohozi. Very, very delighted to join you this week to share with you tips you can use to grow your business, especially in network marketing. Uh, those of us who are new to this channel, you are most welcome. I'm really delighted to mentor you uh, to help you grow your businesses. Of course, uh, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the tips that we share. And of course, share the video with your team and ask them to subscribe. Uh, I'm also the author of this wonderful book, The Master Key to Network Market Success. This is a must read for any networker, especially in Africa, because in here I share insights that I used to grow the business uh, that I've uh, been able to create all over 11 African countries. But also, most importantly, I think all great leaders are readers. It is important for us to be able to read books. Uh, this week, um, we're going to have a very important topic. I think a topic that is uh, uh, every networker should be very interested in, and that is turning skeptical prospects into true believers. Now, of course, I want to suggest that if you have not yet found skeptical people about the business, then you have not really started prospecting because there are so many. Now, there are so many reasons why people are skeptical, but I'll mention just a few of them. One of them is that maybe they once joined a network marketing company they were convinced to join and they didn't see any results. Things didn't work out for them. Uh, point number two, it's possible that a close friend joined a network marketing company and probably didn't succeed or things didn't go well. Uh, point number three is that they probably they joined um, a network marketing company and they were disappointed, not by the company, but they are by their upline who didn't probably follow the system. Uh, point number four, it could be that they joined they join, uh, a network marketing company and didn't receive proper training. So they think that the industry is bad, yet in fact they didn't receive proper training. Uh, point number five, it's possible they're just not open-minded at all. Maybe they have no genuine reason or not to join a network marketing company or to buy your supplements, but they're just negative. Negative. Now, what are some of the ways we can be able to turn skeptical prospects into positive believers? Number one is posture. One of the things that I've seen is that the more you appear needy, the more you appear uh, as if you are begging, the more you, 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 you appear as if, you know, it's the end of the world. If a prospect does not join you, then most likely you make them even more skeptical because let me tell you something. People don't want to join weak leaders. People don't want to join people who are desperate. People want to join people who can grow with them, who can support them. So you must position yourself like that in the mind and the eyes of your prospect. Short of that, no one will join you. No one will join you to help you. No one will join you because you are a good person. No one will join you because they want to uplift you. They want to uplift themselves and they want you to uh, to position yourself as the kind of person who can help them. So posture is very, very important. Then, of course, uh, point number two is to, to talk to more people. The more skeptical people that you find, what you do is that it should motivate you and inspire you to talk to many others. Now, what is interesting is that when you talk to many other people and you succeed, these skeptical people come running after you to join you. I've seen it all. I've seen um, this happen. I, when I was joining network marketing, I talked to many close friends of mine and they were negative. They said, you know, go and try those things. I can't join those things. I am busy and all that. What I did, I talked to more people. And the more I progressed, the more I persisted, the more I was able to get some success, they came running after me and the one was joined. Actually, no one can fail to join you. It's just a matter of what? Of time and how successful eventually you become. Point number three, three is that don't argue that if anyone is skeptical, then don't get defensive uh, because some of the skeptics, especially those who are negative, really, just for no reason, they want to, to work you. They want you to get into an argument. They want to prove to you. And the, uh, the, 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 the more you argue with them, the more energy that you lose. So it's very, very important that you don't give it to them. Don't argue with them. If someone who, uh, is probably negative, then maybe that's the, not the kind of person that you're looking for. Then, of course, point number four is stay in a positive state of mind. That goes without saying. As a matter of fact, that um, 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 if you get too worked up uh, by a negative prospect, it may affect how you deal with that prospect or even spoil your entire day. So imagine having your day messed up by someone who you're not even just enjoying your business. So keep your cool, don't argue with them because the more you argue with people, the more you make them win. So it, I think it is very important that we really, really, really um, uh, handle skeptics as skeptics as they are. Because after all, you are not looking for negative people to join your business, you're looking for positive people. If someone who is negative 
joins your business, they may even spoil the entire attitude of your entire business. So I think my dear friends, those are some of the ways I've been able to deal with skeptical prospects. Of course, I know there are so many. I could even write a whole book on skeptical prospects. When you read, uh, I think your first year network marketing, he really talks about some of those things, Mark Yanel and his wife friend and Yanel. So I think it's a good book I can recommend to you, but also most importantly, uh, get yourself a copy of the master key. I in there, I really mentioned about how I was able to deal with many of my negative people and actually how I turned them to become great believers in the business. So uh, my dear friends, I hope you've learned something. Please remember to subscribe. Remember to get yourself a copy of the master key in the description below of the video. There's a link, you can be able to get it. I'm gonna be very, very happy to one day meet you and you tell me that you read the master key to network my success. Otherwise, thank you so much, dear friends. May God bless you. See you at the top and away.